Um, I think there's it's multifold, right? It's mm. multifactorial reason. There's never really just one reason. But I think that the diet in this country is abysmal. Mm. I think stand if yeah. you think about standard American diet, it's a bagel with cream cheese and a cup of coffee for breakfast, two slices of pizza and a Coke for lunch, a cheeseburger and fries, and maybe a Sprite because you're avoiding caffeine at night for dinner. There's no fiber. Mm. There's a ton of preservatives, right? Seed oils, gluten, all that stuff is very gut destructive. Mm -hmm. So our diet, number one, that's, you know, the lack of fiber. Number two, the glyphosate that's in this country, you don't have it in Europe. It's why mm. Americans go to Italy or Paris or wherever in Europe, I guess, and eat the bread or the pasta and feel great mm. and say, I, you know, I did so well there. And then I came home and had pasta and I was really sick. Mm. It's the glyphosate. It's not the gluten. Yeah. Um, and so we really need to carefully look at diet. I think dehydration is a big one. I think people yeah. are drinking tons of coffee and sodas and not drinking water and not understanding that plain water doesn't hydrate, that we do need electrolytes. We are missing minerals. Um, that's another uh, root cause of constipation is lack of minerals. If you mm. don't have the electrical conductivity and those intestinal walls to contract and push food through, it's not going to happen, right? Yeah. We know yeah. magnesium is deficient. We're so deficient in magnesium as a as a species. Mm. Um, and we know that magnesium citrate, the magnesium comes in many forms, but we know magnesium citrate for one is really helpful for moving bowels. Yeah. Um, fatty liver. There's a lot of alcohol use in this country. Uh, not only it's not only the alcohol use, but it's the processed foods that's driving fatty liver. With a fatty mm. liver, you can't release the amounts of bile that you need to help with proper digestion and elimination. Yeah. Medications. How mm. many Americans over the age of 50 aren't on any medications? And how many of those medications are constipating? Mm. A lot. All yeah. those antidepressants that people are on, constipating, right? Um, and then parasites and mold constipate everybody. And yeah. we know that the buildings in our country and in the US are, we have a lot of sick building syndrome, a lot of water damage buildings. I watch build, I watch homes go up. I live in New Jersey. I watch homes go up all the time. And I just watch storms, you know, hitting the insulation and hitting the wood thinking to myself, that's going to be a mold problem someday. Mm. Um, and so mold will constipate you for sure. Um, so, you know, is it a bigger problem in this, in this part of the world? Yes. I mean, if you're in Africa and you're a hunter gatherer and you're getting your fiber and you know, you're getting your movement, a lack of movement, right? Another mm -hmm. reason people in this country yeah. are constipated. You can't, if you yeah. don't move your body, your bowels aren't moving. Um, if you've seen it with babies, I see it all the time with babies or that are constipated friends that have babies. All you need to do is move them around, rotate their pelvises, move their legs, give them some movement in that lower body and they'll poop. Hmm. We need the same. We're, we're just big babies, right? Yeah. Yeah. But we don't, we sit, we sit all day. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then the stress level in this country is out yeah. of control. People wake up at six o'clock in the morning and expect to be out of the house at six 30. And in between six and six 30, it's brush the teeth, shower, feed the dog, wake the kids. There's no time to poop. Mm. You haven't left yourself time for that. And it's so important. It's the most important part of your morning. Yeah. And people aren't making time for it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, just just the act of being stressed also shuts down motility as well, right? So you've got to be in a parasympathetic state to actually create those contractions through through the GI tract. Yeah. Um, if you're if if you were being chased by a lion, there's not a chance you'd poop. Yeah. Right. And that's that same fight or flight feeling that most people have, that adrenaline rush in the morning when the alarm goes off to get out of bed and fight. Yeah. So someone once said um, throwing a cartwheel is not not a good uh, thing to do when you're being chased by a lion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Every every cell in your body is on the job just to get away. Right. It's definitely yep. not going to be worrying about. Actually, actually, oh, actually, in those situations, you might actually go to the toilet. <laughs> you might poop your pants. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
but generally speaking chronic stress will will slow down your motility um the, the other thing as well i would probably add to that is methane producing bacteria if there's too many of them as well can also slow down motility as well um, for sure but that's going to usually come from the other things that are that are um you know, a lot of times when we see an overgrowth of, if you're talking about, for instance, SIBO, it mm. starts further up in the digestive tract. Mm. So usually it's a lack of stomach acid mm. that's causing things to not be broken down so that yeah. things are actually fermenting too low. Yeah. Um, and that goes back to diet. That really goes back to medications. If people have been feeling stressed for years and taking Tums and you know, it's American medicine. I don't know if you have yeah, Tums. Yeah, yeah, we know Tums. Yeah, yeah. Um, or PPIs, right? Proton yeah. pump inhibitors, which are rec given out like candy at the GI doctor's office. Um, those stop your stomach acid. Yeah. If you don't have enough stomach acid, number one, that flap, you have a flap, right, that closes between the stomach and the esophagus that keeps the acid in the stomach. I know that very if you well. you don't... If you don't have enough acid, it can't keep that closed. Mm. Um, and so people always think that it's a lack of stomach acid that's causing this reflux. I'm going to go out on a limb and say 90% of the time, it's not mm. enough acid. Yeah, I agree. It's not too much acid. So 